Rapids Nation, we are joined by Rapids forward Tyler Boivin. Good day. Good day. How are Thanks things? for having me. Good. Just got off the ice from big practice there. How'd that go? It was pretty good. I mean, uh, we've been in a flow right now, you know, on the ice every day. So guys are starting to get back in game shape and looking good out there. Nice. And you, uh, you had to come into Grand Falls and quarantine for 14 days when you first got here? Yeah. How'd that go? I mean, uh, I was with uh, Brandon Brazo, one of my buddies. Uh, we've been buddies for a while now. So, I mean, uh, during the summer, we were always together. So, it was like, it was long, obviously, because you're two weeks, you can't leave your property. So, I mean, um, we tried to work out, but uh, we made the best of it. Awesome. And so when you did finally get out of quarantine, you were going around Grand Falls. What's your initial impressions of the town? Uh, I mean, I thought it was going to be a bit bigger, not going to lie. But, uh, you know, uh, going around, you see that this is a hockey community and everyone, everybody's behind us. So that's nice to see. Nice. Yeah, there definitely is a, a good following of the team here. So uh, give us some impressions of the, the first few games here. I know preseason, but uh, what do you what do you prognosis for the team this year? Uh, I mean, uh, we, we've done pretty good. Obviously, if a few games we didn't get the results we wanted to, but uh, it's a learning experience for all the guys, right? So we got a lot of rookies as much as vets, so it's just trying to find that good combination, staying out of the box. So we're still in the lear- learning process, but it's good that uh, we're getting out of the way right now. So when we get into the season, it's going uh, to be good. Awesome. And so talked a little bit about the Campbellton game on Sunday, last game of the series that you guys played in the preseason. Yep. Um, Coach McKenzie was uh, pretty vocal about the lack of discipline at some points during the game. Yep. What, what was that meeting like on Monday morning when you guys got together again at the rink? Uh, I mean, we just got to be more disciplined, right? Um, sometimes we let our emotions get the best of us, and that's what I meant when uh, – uh, learning curves for the younger guys, older guys, you know, like better get it out of the way right now than it happens in the season. So when we're going to get in the season, well, we're going to do good. Uh, we have a good skills team this year, so, you know, we don't need to play that game this year. Other teams are going to try and get in our heads, but we got just got to keep calm and just do what we got to do. Awesome. And how does Brad's philosophy on coaching differ from maybe some of the other coaches you played for over your career? Um, I mean – We're all, like, at the rink, uh, I've never done this before. So, basically, when we get here, we have a 15-minute warm-up. Then we have two groups. So, one group is working out for 20 minutes. The other group is on the ice for um, shooting and skills for 20 minutes. And then we switch. After that is done, um, we have a little meeting. And then we go on for some power skating for 20 minutes. Get off, we have another meeting. And then we have our full-on practice. So, I mean, like, right now we're really putting in the effort in and you see that Brad is trying to get the guys to get better you know give everything that uh all the tools that we need to get better so there's no excuse we got to do what we got to do to win because they're giving us all the tools to do so awesome no that's great and there's a lot of things going on uh, behind the scenes in terms of just kind of getting the team to gel together it was a golf tournament last weekend yep. how'd you make out in that tournament Actually won, our group won. We fin- we finished minus 10, so, I mean, I was pretty <laughs> pumped about that. Awesome, that's good. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, so how do things like that go to, to help you guys gel a little bit more? I mean, uh, we've been here for, what, almost, well, I've been here for a month, quarantine for two, and, uh, I mean, the nice thing of being in a small city is – uh, there's not much to do around so the boys are always together right so we can bond as a team and I feel that's uh, when the guys all bond and there's a good chemistry with everybody that's that's when you go far because everybody's got each other's back they all care for one another you get to know guys a bit uh, a bit more about the backgrounds of their family so it, it becomes your second family right so you're really there for one another and I truly believe that when that happens you can go far. Awesome. Well, I did see something that uh, that I've never seen the Rapids do since coming to town for the last couple of years. At the end of the practice this morning, you guys all gathered center ice, all the sticks went up in the air, and you yeah. had a little chant. Tell me a little bit about what was happening in that circle beforehand. So basically, we just say, like, good, good, you know, good practice. Uh, obviously, some days are not as good, so if we need to address some stuff, just be like, hey, tomorrow we need to be sharper or whatever, but it's just a... Just to, like, get the guys together, okay, we're done another day. Tomorrow's a new day, so let's go. We got this. Awesome. Yeah, no, and I think uh, for anybody, and I know training camp is closed to the public, so it's uh, it's our kind of job to get the little behind the scenes yep. out there. We'll try to get some video of, uh, of next week uh, after the Thanksgiving weekend. So sure. that'll be uh, that'll be fun, but uh, we'll try to get some footage out there so that the people can see what happens oh, for sure. kind of behind the scenes. What do you got planned for Thanksgiving? Um, so I can't go back home, right, because I'm from Ontario. So uh, me, uh, Brazo, uh, Shano, Vinny, and uh, Abbott, we're all going down to Halifax. We got a few buddies. I got a buddy down there that plays uh, for the Halifax Moosehead, so might as well make a little trip out of it, visit a bit. 
uh on saturday we're gonna have a little thanksgiving dinner with the boys just in our little airbnb so we're gonna try and make the most of it because we can't go back home so we're just trying to get the boys that can't go back home together so feel feel like kind of we're back home but yeah. you know what i mean no absolutely it's a it's definitely going to be a different season what are you guys doing to protect yourselves against uh, against covid and to protect each other as well I mean, so we got protocols when we come in the ranks every morning. We have a questionnaire that we have to that we have to um, to do. So it's basically like uh, if you got any symptoms, uh, all that stuff. And uh, when we come in, we have a mask. And then they take our temperature. So I, you have to be under a certain temperature, or else you got to go back home. And uh, with our billets, uh, let's say um, someone is sick or they have symptoms, then we have to stop everything that we do for forty eight hours. And uh, that person that has the symptoms has to go get tested to see uh, if they got COVID or not. So, I mean, it's uh, right now we're pretty lucky down here. There's not much, so hopefully it stays like that. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, and it's uh, it's good that those those protocols are in place. And I know the fans this year we do have to wear masks. But uh, yeah. tell me a little bit about what you're hearing from the fan base so far. Uh, first couple of games, first couple of home games. I mean, you see the you see the fans are behind us. Um, uh, first, I think was our second or third exhibition. Uh, well, actually, our first exhibition here, I, I was in the stands, and uh, it was like the second day I was out of quarantine, so I, I was part of the fans, and you see that everybody's behind us. Uh, they love coming to the games. Um, you see they're happy to they're happy to be behind us, and I truly believe that they think that we have a good team this year and we can go far, so it's nice of having that support from them. Awesome, yeah. And there's a couple of games coming up. So after Thanksgiving weekend, you're going to have a home and home with uh, with Edmonton. Yeah. What do you know about that rivalry? I just know it's a big rivalry from what my billets and uh, Brandon have been telling me is that and all the people from uh, Edmonton usually make the trip down to, en- to Edmonton. Sorry, all the people from Grand Falls make the trip down to Edmonton and vice versa. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. I don't know how it's going to be with the uh, COVID and stuff, if we're going to be able to get as many tickets. But, I mean, I'm excited for it. Yeah, I think it's going to be fun. There's a there's some rumor in the past that the Edmonton and Grand Falls when they used to play they'd throw potatoes on the ice. Now I haven't oh. seen a potato hit the ice in the I last guess. couple of years. But <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll see soon. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Well, listen, d- thanks for taking some time to chat with us. Good luck and uh, good you know have a good trip down this weekend. Perfect. Happy Thanksgiving and uh, we look forward to seeing you on the ice this season. Thank you very much. <laughs>